But so I love playing the games as well as designing them. And I designed Breakout for Atari. Steve Jobs got that order from the, the owner of Atari. I designed the whole thing and it was really an incredible project because I designed things with very few parts. And Atari was getting tired of their engineers designing games with 150 chips and 190 chips. So I did all a breakout in 45 chips. Back then, hardware games, I'm sorry, it's not like software. This was a half a man year project. And I was like one of the greatest designers ever. I was working on the iPhone 5 of its day the hottest gadget product in the world. It was the Hewlett Packard Scientific Calculator. Uh, so I didn't have that much leeway. I did choose the number of bricks. I don't think that was a, a big issue, but well, I had a 256-bit RAM, so you might as well, so it's gonna be 128 bricks or it's gonna be 256 bricks. It was a real fun project, but since I've already done Pong, so it's really just an extension of a game where you've already programmed a game that has paddles and balls that can move at different angles and speeds. It's just putting in the reflection and counting when you hit bricks. There was no name when I did the project at all, no name assigned. So when Atari came out with it, they chose a name. And Steve Jobs was no longer at Atari. Right after we finished the game, he went up to Oregon, bought into that orchard or whatever it was. And so Atari came up with the name on their own. They paid Steve Jobs, and then he paid me half the money, supposedly. Steve should have been more open and honest with me. He should have told me, yeah, I'm really getting thousands for this, but I'll pay you this much. He should have said, I need the money to buy into a farm in Oregon. And I would say, take it all. I don't need an income. I've got a job as an engineer. I don't need the money. I didn't need the money. <laughs> I just enjoy games for enjoyment. Life is about, the first thing you need is the necessities of life, which is food. So I call it one of the three F's, food. The second F is fun. Every kind of entertainment, including games, concerts, movies. The other is friends. So the three F's, and when I told that story to our high school, when they put me in the Hall of Fame at the high school, the kids started laughing. And I said, there might be a fourth F. 